Welcome back everybody, this is Retro Challenge Gamer, still playing Descent the Enemy Within. We are going to try again level 9. That is right, this is not my first attempt at this, so I'm going into this level half-blind, and I'll explain that as I'm playing through the level. But first, welcome back! Things have settled down around here and we can resume our current mission, but first, I'd like to recall you back to Shiva Station for another formal briefing. However, there is but one more mine in that system that needs cleaning. It's a rather odd one. Upon initial rock tests, there are some weird magnetic and seismic disturbances throughout the entire mine that we simply cannot explain. So be prepared, prepared, prepared for anything. I always did find it funny that the self-destruction of a mine was considered cleaning by the PTMC. Will do. I thought it was funny too. Why you clean up a mine and destroy it in the process? I think that's the antithesis of actual cleaning. But anyway, this sounds like a boss level to me. So just based on seismic disturbances, we're only one level shy of level 10. Charlie Delta, we have another lead on another warship within your very sector. Finish the job you're doing now for PTMC, but contact me immediately upon completion. Well, don't I just feel like everybody's lapdog, being told to go every which way and do things for them. Where do you get this information? So, I was wrong. This is not a boss level. As I've told you, we have operatives everywhere that bring us information. Anyway, we actually discovered an improved modification to the new line of robots PTMC is creating. You would do well to take a look at the report being uploaded to your ship's hard drive. Looks nasty. Be careful around that one. PTMC is getting better at making the machines more lethal. Dark Horse, out. Wonderful. Outstanding. I <laughs> can't wait to see what it is. Legionnaire. Infected Robot Destroyer. Plasma Cannon. Mercury Missiles. Ooh. Drops Plasma Cannon. Threat High. An official upgrade to the Acolyte. Newly designed and hot off the PTMC production line. This robot destroyer boasts a powerful combination of demolition weaponry, and PTMC has fixed the motor systems, making it highly mobile. A very dangerous robot in close quarters. Lure it out into the open for an easier fight. Well, yeah, if they're anything like the Class 1 heavy drillers, they can be pretty darn lethal with just the plasma cannon alone. That mercury missile is not going to make it any better. So, uh, it does have a bigger right arm cannon, but for the most part, it looks more or less the same as the Acolyte, just different colors. It's more brownish now. Parasite. Concentrated Explosive device. What does that mean? Max Explosion. Plasma Energy Pulse. <laughs> Shield Boost. High. Designed to be a smarter type of dummy bomb. Programmed to follow a specific navigational path through the mines to a specific detonation location. Proved effective and efficiently cheap to produce. Now without formal program guidance, it wanders the mines looking for prime targets like you. Steer clear and beware its destructive blast when destroyed. Oh, okay, so this might be one of those kamikaze robots like the Omega or something in Descent 2. Okay, so I was wondering if there was going to be like a kamikaze robot, so here it is! And it looks like the parasite has parasites on it. <laughs> it's kind of weird and funny looking. I know they're probably bomb packages, but it looks funny. So, the penultimate level before the second boss level. And straight out of the starting gate. Uh, spread fire and <laughs> something to use it on. Oh my gosh, I do not like this situation at all. So, yeah, I actually died here three or four times during the initial tests before it crashed and everything. So you, you'll probably want to get through this area as quick as possible and only set off this Motsun once so you can get out to this main area, which actually gives you opportunity to get other items and missiles and weapons. And I don't know about you, you I really wish I had kept the recording, but the first time I figured out that this new plasma cannon actually homes in on targets. Look at that. You can just fire with impunity and it actually goes into the targets. It seems to be a little weaker overall, it does take a couple more shots, but oh my goodness, I don't even have to aim that bad anymore. It's just so awesome. So yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but you're, the only way out is down, and the keys are actually kind of fairly spaced far apart. Now my first reaction... When I went down here, it was just like, oh my gosh. Do you see... Oh wow, I better pay attention. <laughs> I mean, do you see the massive expanse of this room? And it is filled with nothing but mantids. I mean, it is like a, a infested breeding ground in here. It's just full of mantids. And if you can't get up to 200 shields by the time you're done with this room, you're doing something wrong. So yeah, this room, if you look at it in the auto map, which I will in just a couple moments, 
it looks like it's it's a lot bigger than what it looks like it's all darkness except for these small little red platforms at odd angles and stuff which I think is brilliant I can't even begin to imagine how they figured th how to create this room let's thin out the horde here there's way too many <laughs> Now, in a piece of inspired design, I believe, they hid the exit that leads to the blue door. Like, you have no inkling where the blue door is in this whole area. So you could be wandering for minutes and minutes, like I was when I first tried this part of the level blind. So there were a couple hints, like, except for the blue key one. I mean, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. But do you see that blue door right there? Look at that, right in one of those pillars. You may or may not get that in the auto map. Sometimes it's rare, but one of the only hints you get is that this is the only pillar with an energy boost. I know that's kind of a vague hint, but it's better than nothing. I still think that's kind of crappy design, but whatever. So you come down here and you can get blindsided by some legionnaires. This is perfect for the plasma cannon which I do love. It is now my second favorite weapon alongside the spread fire. And then this one got me a little bit off guard. I was trying to figure out where to go, but you actually have to go through this muddy waterfall there. And then this is where I keep crashing. Okay, this is probably the last time I can use the auto map. So, see, the yellow and the red keys aren't too far apart from each other. But once you get past this door, one, uh, past these legionnaires, it, for whatever reason, the auto map keeps crashing in D2XXL. So, from here on out, it is a blind run from here on out because I never really got past this point. So, I'm not going to be opening up the auto map anymore. I'm just going to try and figure this area out as I go. So, I don't know why it kept crashing, but I'm just. I have a feeling it has something to do with the auto map. So I got as far as this hallway. There were a couple parasites. I think this is the first time you actually encounter them is in these narrow hallways. Go figure. Where the explosions are going to do the most damage. And then... Uh, let's see here. I'm going to leave a trap for the thief because he's got to come here this way. I highly doubt... Oh, that I could have placed those bombs better. But I highly doubt he's going to die just from those alone. I mean, it's going to take more than just four proximity bombs to kill that thief. Okay, so you kind of slowly work your way around. Let's, what's in here? Oh, Legionnaire. Let me guess, there's going to be one in every corner, isn't there? Yep. Oh, ow! Okay, you got to watch out for those Mercury missiles. They're pretty nasty. And an acolyte. Oh, I didn't even kill you. I thought I killed you. Okay, and then an acolyte all the way by the yellow door. So okay, so we have we know where the yellow and the red doors are. So that's easy enough. I have no idea what to expect from this point on. And our first smart missile it looks like. I wonder what's changed with it. Uh oh another spread fire just in case you lost it over the course of this level oh whoa something's very dangerous on that side ah oh gosh okay yep definitely like the Omega doesn't seem to be as damaging though that's a good thing okay that looked like a bolus a plasma and two mercs a secret doesn't look like a very valuable secret so I'm not too worried about it they're definitely introducing these parasites in a lot of... Oh, Pipers! Uh, Piper, Pipers, and a Bullis. Okay, but yeah, they're definitely introducing these parasites in small, cramped, enclosed spaces to catch you off guard. Likely around blind corners like that. Wonderful. Huh. I wonder what that does. Okay, I got the red key, but I don't have the yellow key. Can I go straight? 
to the red door, or do I have to go to the red door and find the yellow key there? Is it kind of like reverse key order or something? Let's check it out. Oh, whoa! I was not expecting Piper in the face. Okay, so that is definitely the reactor. Uh, I don't feel comfortable. I don't really want to destroy the reactor just yet, because I don't... Okay, that the, the home missile is not working like it should. Oh, I think I just wasted that one. Okay, screw it. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable getting into. Ah! Whoa! Stupid pipers. Okay, if you don't get, if, oh gosh, if you do not get the jump on him before they get the jump on you, you are toast. Your shields are done. Okay, let's try not to die, shall we? Okay, I see mantids. I'm just like waiting for like a pipe or something to just like ambush me from above or something as soon as I enter the door. That looks like a bolus all the way at the end. Wow, this room is really trippy. <laughs> wow, that is really... This level is just all sorts of interesting. Like, floating lights. Okay, I can kind of see what they're talking about with seismic disturbances and magnetic changes or whatever the briefing told me. There's a lot of interesting... Whoa! Hey, hey! Got stuck on some geometry there. I will take advantage of this. Probably the easiest thief kill so far in this game. Okay, I got the yellow. Oh, thank goodness I got the yellow, because this was the exit door. I would have blown the reactor and had no way out. Awesome. Okay, but there's some more to explore here. There's more to this level. It's at this point I would use the auto map, except I know it would crash, so I'm not going to. So I'm going to continue exploring the rest of this outer hallway. I know it probably doesn't amount to much because I've already got the keys and the necessary access to end the level, but I just want to explore everything. I swear, this plasma is going to be my go-to weapon for everything. The only downside that I see, it's like, I think every shot... Let me let me test this out here. Uh, I didn't really catch that. Okay, yeah, every shot is a single unit of energy. That is actually kind of expensive. That's almost Phoenix Cannon expensive. So, I'm going to be running out of energy very quickly using this weapon. But, the fact that it homes in on every enemy, I really don't care. Ooh, Goss Cannon, finally! Let's check this out. Uh... Okay, it has a very, very slow rate of fire. Like, I can't even... I'm holding... I held down the fire button, and it was firing very slowly. Okay. Let's see if we can use it in here. I don't like this blind corner. Uh, I'm not sure how how well that did. Let's use that. Whoa, that is a very dangerous room. I do not want to get in there. Let's see if I can use my explosive mercury. No! Ow! Nope. 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 Okay, I'm going to die. I'm going to totally die. This is not the way I want to end this level. Okay, forget it. I'm just going to shoot the reactor from here. And, uh... Did that just one-shot the reactor? <laughs> or did, was it because I, I softened it up a little bit beforehand? I'm going to have to test the Goss Cannon a little bit more. I don't really know what the deal was with that thing. Alright, so 118,600. Still no hostages in these water levels. No big deal, though. That's just one extra thing I have to worry about. But yeah, Into the Deep. Very interesting, very complex level. I like it. I like the design and everything. Just wish I could view it in the auto map in all its full glory, but whatever. We're going to move on to the next level, which would be the second boss level of the bunch, and looking forward to that. 
So see you all in the next video.